Hi there. Get ready to raid your recycle bin because we have easy DIY bird feeders coming your way. They're fun, creative, and they're free. So I hear you're looking for some DIY bird feeder inspiration. We'll look no more. Hi, I'm Marcy. Welcome to my channel. All it takes to get birds into your yard is a good, plentiful source of food. So check out these super easy DIY bird feeders. Let's get started. It's a simple peanut can. I'm take the lid off, plastic lid, save that, put that aside, and just take this and completely cut open real carefully your metal bottom here. Simply take out your hammer and hammer around the, the areas that pop up so it's nice and smooth. The next thing you want to do is take off your paper and sand down any remaining areas like right here and clean that up. Wipe it down. At this point, you can choose to paint it or leave it au naturel. I am going to paint mine just like I did this one. This is like a hammered silver and this is a hammered copper and I'll be right back. I'm gonna trim this down just a little bit to give them a little bit more space. We're gonna glue that just like we did on this side. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is make sure that's even, and then you're gonna put a space for your skewer, which is gonna be right down here. Do that with a glue gun or a drill, just as easy to do with a drill gun. And I'm gonna take this out, and now I'm using super industrial strength Gorilla glue. And don't worry, none of this is going to be near where the birds are eating. They're not gonna, it's not gonna leak out or anything like that. Be really careful in using this glue. It's really super hot. Go right around the edge, like so. Make sure it's even, lined up. There we go. If you feel more comfortable, you can also use uh, the Goop or an E6000, which is very much my go-to as well. I love that and the Gorilla Glue. Don't fill it up too much. You don't want to be in excess. But you know, when the birds go crazy with their food, they do tend to want to knock these little plates off. Next, we're going to make two small holes at the top, and that is going to support our wire to go right through. And basically, I'm using an awl. You can use a drill, a nail, whatever is handy for you. I'm going to do this second hole off camera because it does make a lot of noise and it shakes the camera. I'll be right back. Perfect. Now we just gotta go and fill it up with food. The birds are just gonna love this. Now this is a piece of cording that I had on hand. You can use jute or whatever string of your choosing. You can use a piece of metal, like a chain. Butterflies or bees or little doodads on it or create some sculptural elements. But for today, this is what we're doing and we're not going to be painting it. We're just going to leave it au natural. 
This next one is very, very easy, like they all are. This one is specifically for hummingbirds. And I have noticed a bunch of them in our area right now in South Florida. I'm very, I'm very, very excited to be welcoming them back. This is nothing more than a to-go container. And I had a bunch of these in my stash. I'm not sure if you can still get them anymore, um, let's say at Whole Foods or some of the other uh, places that have uh, takeout. But I painted mine in red and yellow to simulate a flower. This is nothing more than a top to a spray can. And this is going to serve as the moat. It's gonna be filled with water. And this goes right inside and fits ever so snugly and so nice. Look at that, right? Now, don't worry, the birds actually don't touch that. I made a hole in the center here for them to get the nectar out, the sugar water. It's really very simple. You can actually put holes on the side here and you can hang it with some jute or some S hooks and some chain and hang it from a tree. Or you can just put it on a flat surface and let it sit there for them to come and eat. Very, very simple. Let's go put this outside. I'm gonna fill this up here. Yeah. Hummingbird juice. Hugo de hummingbirds, very important. Give a little shake, shake, shake. This lasts about, I don't know, four or five days in the refrigerator. Give a nice little cocktail here. Now I'm gonna go fill this up with water. All right, put that in the center. Look at that, bam. All right, we're done. Let's go hang it up. For this next one, we are using a tennis ball can. For the holder, what we're going to do is we're going to here. Now, if we're using the soldering gun, make sure you're doing it in a well-ventilated area because this is plastic. And I'm going to run my twine up through here. Now you could use chain, whatever you want to use, but I'm using this. And that way it's going to allow you to put the cap on and off and clean it and also put the food in there as you desire. You make this a nice generous length. Make sure that fits in there. Mm-hmm. One above, right here. Get this a little hot glue right here on one end. Perfect. Let's go fill her up with food. This teacup set is going to make an awesome little bird feeder. What we're gonna use is Loctite. This is an all weather material and is bonds to glass, metal, wood, marble, concrete, basically a lot of non-porous materials and it's indoor, outdoor. Make sure you are using this in a well-ventilated area. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna sand this area down a little bit if I can. Some on this. I'm going to let that sit and dry. How much time? It says zero second instant grab. Hmm. I don't know, but this is carrying weight. So I'm going to wait overnight for this one. What I decided to do in addition to our glue here, this Loctite, is I'm going to use a five minute epoxy as well. I'm gonna mix them up and apply it with a little Q-tip, just to be super, super sure that this is going to lock on to my saucer. Again, make certain that you're in a well-ventilated area, and I'm gonna apply it right here. I'm not gonna dump it upside down and show you that because I'm trying to get this to dry. still straight and we're good to go. We're gonna let that dry. Okay, this is thoroughly dried. It's nice and solid. And what I'm gonna do is just tie a string. Colors. So I did a couple of these. One was in an animal print and one is in this nice bright 
geometric print. And let's go out and fill it up. For this one, I am taking a mushroom container and we're gonna put holes in each of the corners. And I cut about, let me see, I guess this is about uh, a yard of jute. And I'm gonna do a lark's head right through each of the corners. This is a great way to upcycle the mushroom containers. Make sure, again, that you're in a well-ventilated area. I'm gonna double this up to make the lark's head. Make sure everything's even. And there you go. The birds are gonna love this. Let's go fill it up. Thank mm -hmm. you.